Nemakawe Alapawa Zula Dale Chesterville in the Heroes He Eka Simonga Dumpana Wokuba Yi Kawe Lili Abe Ilona Lala Mukumula Kawe Lama Kawe Lala Kakul Lala Mukumula Pingoshe Siabonga Kakulu Ungan Well, let's continue to part two of keeping up with the promises made at Senzo Mayua's funeral. And now let's hear the, the next premier version. of the province, Senzo Mkono, the Mayua family, my cabinet colleagues, Balola, Gekaba, Peggy Trader, the, chair, the president of SAFA, Danny Jordan, Ivan Koza, the chair of Orlando Pirates, fellow South Africans, and fellow mourners. We are convened today to perform the duty which we all dread, yet we all go through it. We are obliged by decency of our humanity to perform this duty that people should fulfill for their illustrious days. It is a confirmation of a citizen of a republic whose life has consolidated the very existence of our republic through for his own fellow citizens. We are driven to this line of action by our recognition that sends Omewa's obligation to his country during his life were more than a dedication of his own life. We are convinced to bid farewell to a hero who left us at the cusp of a deserved qualification for the African Cup of Nations Championship. He is a hero who contributed to the long indignity of our nation, qualifying only by his strength of hosting rather than by the strength in the field of play. Just as the nations of the world we are beginning to recognize our strength to come back from the doldrums of our favorite sports soccer as a nation. One who contributed to this resurgence has been sadly disposed of from us by the callousness of a firearm. A flower that was blooming has now been withered away by the greed of a senseless gunman. We greed not such a destructive force as these multitudes who are gathered here today will not be here but going about their daily chores. So even before I say our eulogy, let me join all South Africans who curse this voracious animal called greed. An honorable distinction awaited Senzo Mehiwa, because were it not for the pre pressing matters of state, our president would have been here in person to say a eulogy for so gallant a son and a hero from Umlaz. While both South Africans, the President and Senzo Meiwa, operated in different spheres, one as a leader of our nation and the other as a leader of the nation's team, on both their shared shoulders rested a heavy load. So much more was and is expected from them, for heavy are the heads that wear these crowns. The nation expects its pride to be confirmed through their unwavering leadership. Fellow mourners, Travelling with four cabinet ministers early this week to London to market our country as a destination of investment, we took the news of Senzo's stress passing away with trepidation. The news reached us just before we attended the first engagement with captains of industry in that city. To our greatest surprise, what we thought would make our task difficult did not materialize. We had thought the negative perceptions of our country as a violence-prone which dissuades foreign direct investment would be confirmed. At every engagement, we are greeted with deep sympathies for our loss as a South African nation. It immediately dawned on us that Senzo was just not an Orlando Pirates and a Bafana Bafana captain, but also recognized beyond the borders of the African continent. Today, South Africa, there is no rivalry of a baby. All soccer lovers, supporters of all teams, at the top and the bottom, in different divisions, are rooting for one man as if they are all from one team. All codes of sport are converged in mourning the sad loss as if they come from one sporting code. All South Africans in that diversity, from all walks of life, have come to relieve the Mewia family of the heavy burden of loss as if they all come from the same womb. Today, all South Africans in this majestic stadium are Mayiwas. And today all South Africans are the Mulawutsis. And today all South Africans are the Mwelases. Collectively and equally, these three families deserve our eternal gratitude as South Africans for having borrowed us their children. A hero is human like Senzo. 
who is born with bravery. His bravery was not in a theater of war, but in a rectangular grassy field in which he manned the timber through which the results of this beautiful game are determined. His role in this war was of the last defender. Correctly, the province of Kosulu Natal has decided that his eternal remains shall be interned at Heroes Actor in Chesterville, a well and a fitting tribute for such a gallant man. Deservedly, the city of Durban has accorded him the right to pass through its streets yesterday. Who can say they never witnessed this bravery when Senzo threw himself into the feet of heavy men intending to score against his team? Which of you, my fellow South Africans, can say they never saw the two brilliant shot stopping saves in cauldrons of the Congo TP Mazemba? Indeed, which one of you can dispute the PPC's assertion that Senzo was among the best keepers in Africa? Who will argue with Spain's captain and keeper Casillas that when they exchanged their shirts after that momentous victory against the world champions, he was doing so as an equal to Senzo? The eyes of the South African nation are moist with sorrow, and the tears glide heavily on the cheeks of all those who loved and respected Senzo's sacrifices. When they broke down, those tears that rolled down their faces of his teammates displayed that set loss. Even men of steel who can endure more than 90 minutes of running cannot defend themselves from the feeling of this great loss. Their tears were the nation's tears too. In unison, this great nation of ours curses the insatiability of death, that gluttonous intrusion into our lives, which lacks in every home, in every minute, in every hour. While its inevitability is unquestioned, it is always its untimeliness that disturbs our collective comforts. It is a gate of necessary inconvenience through which all men and women born of flesh shall have to pass through. Through this compulsory gate shall pass all those who were made of dust, and as dust shall return to dust, so should we be comforted that Senzo has gone earlier than most, but has also followed others. Fellow South Africans, let us mourn as we should, for this is our life's journey too. Let us not blame death for taking our heroes and leaving the cowards, because the cowards too do and must take this journey also. Let us but decry the untimeliness of his passing away. Let us join in unison this acceptance by Thomas More, a noble character in Robert Bolt's seminal work, A Man for All Season, when he was about to be guillotined, when he said, Death comes for us all, even at our beds. Death does stand but a little. It is the law of nature, it is the will of God. As we decry the untimeliness, let us deeply rethink the prevalence and the free availability of the weapons of destruction. Let us also deeply rethink the criteria of the applicants who get the firearm licenses. The national discourse has started and it is welcomed. In the debate, sufficient consensus is required so as not to divide our fractious nation even further. In the final analysis, Senzo's tragic death should galvanize us as a nation to relook at how we can arrest the scourge of crime in society not only as it affects those who are in the public eye, but as it affects all South Africans. Fellow mourners, we do not underplay the gravity of the cowardly murder of Senzo. The perpetrators of this heinous crime need to be brought to book, and no stone should be left unturned to find out who, why, and what happened. In the last month of our nation, it has been seized with the news of the abuse of these weapons. Acquired for self-destruction and self-protection, most of the users have abrogated their responsibilities by using them to visit them on harm and harm others. The basic question which we should all ask ourselves as a nation is whether we are bent on self-destruction or on mutual coexistence. The anger that has arisen in all these recent cases is that harm has been visited on people who are not given the chance to defend themselves. This decay of society is surpassed even by the unwritten conventions of the Wild West. In this Wild West, glamorized in movies by Humphrey Bogart and Terence Hill, an unarmed man was never shot at. A defenseless woman was always protected, 
and the children were not to take part in any of the gun battles. I'm saying this fully aware that Senzo was a soul that would never spill blood even in his own defense. With a kind heart full of giving to others, I'm sure that these criminals told if they told him what they wanted, he would have gently persuaded them to spare his life. Generations which follow will inquire, will inquire as to how this man could, in this short interval of his birth and death, amass so much energy that at the age of only 27, the nation relied on him to reclaim his pride. History records will tell them that he was a man with a purpose, a man with a vision, a man filled with abundant doses of South African patriotism. They will remember Senzo's patriotism, which was attested to by his former teammate, Benson Mchongo, when he told the world that Senzo had always wanted to be best for his country first before exploring foreign opportunities. Indeed, if he had lived longer, Senzo would have been an ambassador of excellence for the South African nation. To my young South African compatriots, Look at the example of this young, intelligent, and brave Senzo who rose amongst you. Senzo is being hailed today not because he rose from the distinctions of splendid birth and titles. He had no Olistra's lineage, which brings with it titles and entitlements. He grew up in the shadows of a township whose residents eke out a daily life of struggle. He had no claim to any successes at birth but pulled himself by his bootstraps to achieve what he has achieved. His timely interventions and judgments in critical situations is a lesson for all of us. It is this that made him proficient in the execution of his duties for the South African nation. Discard all the adulation you might have about wrong role models because Senzo has surpassed them all. What will stop you, I ask, from sharing the emotions of the moving poem tweeted in tribute to Senzo by Roni Lukwawa from Northwest Province, where he says, Gun in their hands, firing bullets, enduring life worth positive influence, shot dead for having purpose, blood spilled because of significance, the cold world, a moment of victory turns to misery. I carry you pain more than it could be written in poetry, heartless beings gone before defense. Senzo has taught us to be kind and gentle to his brothers and sisters. Be respectful to your parents as Senzo was, for the returns of his respect shall be in bountiful rewards. Be modest in your achievements like Senzo, because even his own national international prominence, he never came to look down upon his own township and his people. Yes, like all of his Umlazi people, he continued to train in the dusty field of his school. Senzo, in the spirit of his day, let us not be misdirected in our collective farewell. Lastly, to us, Senzo was a hero. He'll always be a hero. He belonged to South Africa. The son of Meiwa, Zingila Oweta Ngomzungulu, Wasala Wabon, Batibaya Gulandela, Paponsega Mkete, Amanga Amash, Nomdai, Malala Gogulala, Nomune Ufuge, Ukombe Ilala. Rest in peace, Senzo Meiwa. So yesterday I shared with you the speech given by the brand new um, police minister, Usenzo Ngunu, okay, Usenzo Ngunu. Um, and a lot of the comment section was quite impressed with, um, you know, going back in time, back to the speech. He gave that speech actually when he was premier of KZN. But a couple of things I want to note because, you know, a comment section was very, 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 very divided. OK, some were excited to have him as the new police minister and that he would carry forward the job of getting justice for Senzo Meiwa as well as echoing some of my sentiments, which is cleaning up over there in the police department. Just, you know, I think the bare minimum we're looking for is just administration. And hopefully, hopefully with the administration process improving, because apparently with Upegikele, now they didn't have those little notebooks anymore. They weren't taking notes anymore. They were just operating from memory. We see that display appallingly in Judge Aretta's court. But I digress. And, you know, also that maybe, you know, they'll also 
also do some SAPS 13s whenever, you know, people like Obongan and Danzi allegedly are found with their guns, that there's a paper trail. We're just asking for the bare minimum, you know, administration to be followed through. And that, you know, when police like who? Uzung will have to drive over to go and find this and that, that they actually find it and not come back with a new storyline. Do you know what I mean? So just holding the police accountable. I mean, how can we hold criminals accountable if the people who are supposed to keep us safe are just all over the place? But Mzansi, let's uh, jump into the speech by um, by Ujef Radebe, who was actually, okay, um, the minister, he was actually the minister in the presidency at the time of Usenzumiwa's death. But surprise, surprise, before that, he was actually the Minister of Justice and Correctional Services of South Africa. Mzansi, I bring that to your urgent attention because I say, wow, Senzo's funeral was flanked by so many high-ranking people who I feel could have had an influential role in actually getting justice and closure for the Miwa family and also people who could have also helped financially so that Senzo Miwa's mother is not out here on the internet saying, I'm just trying to get food for my chickens. Like that is not going to get old for me. I think I've said it so many times already since I shared that video last week. The reason I'm doing that, not to humiliate her, but just simply to echo her plight of, listen, my son was a national hero. He was not buried by the Mayuas and by the Mayua customs and tradition. He was buried by the country of South Africa and declared um, a hero. He was declared a hero. He was given this ginormous, larger than life uh, funeral, okay? Funeral, memorial service, everything was covered. But it is just sad to find out that even after that, um, Senzumiwa's mom has been left vulnerable, vulnerable to possibly vultures, okay? People are trying to, you know, gain access to her. For example, we saw last week where I also shared how Chikotola says, I'm not enemies with Senzumiwa's mom. I, I can go and visit her if I want. But then these are people who are not consistent in showing up for Uma Maga Senzo. I'm going to list some of the names of some of the people that I recognized in the crowd at Senzo Miwa's funeral. There was, of course, the the premier at the time, Usenzo Mnunu, okay? And Usenzo Mnunu actually, in his speech, promised that there was going to be a whole academy named after Usenzo Miwa. Now, you see, I turned to Google. I, I might be wrong. It might not, Google might not be Googling. I couldn't find it. Let me know if you guys know about the Senzo Meiwa Academy and where it is. And then there was also, of course, at the time, Minister of Sports and um, Culture, Sports, Arts and Culture, Figlen uh, Mbalula. There was also Gigabyte, okay. Begitele was there, of course. And then Irvin Koza, he was there as well. Patrice Matsipe was there as well. All these people were there. Everybody was there. Did I mention Senzo's wife looked gorgeous as well? Like, she looked gorgeous. But, Mzansi, it is just still so devastating for me. This is why I shared these videos. So that, one, whatever promises were made, we bring them back to the forefront. Because we want to hold the powers that be accountable. Okay? The internet never forgets. The internet never forgets. But, oh, Jeff Radebe said some key things he said. And he said... Uh, Senzo Mayo has been sadly disposed of by the greed of a senseless gunman. And then he also goes on to share that his death, that Senzo's tragic death should galvanize us as a nation to relook at how we can arrest the surge of crime in society, not only as it affects those who are in the public eye, but as it affects all South Africans. And this takes me back to the little, little boy five-year-old boy who died earlier this year, um, may his soul rest in peace, when he ran out to meet his father. He ran out to meet his father, who was being hijacked at gunpoint at the time, and they fired the fatal shot, and the little boy died.
all the boy wanted to do was to run to his father, his hero, get in the car and drive the remaining few meters into the family garage. But these hijackers, okay, the hijackers took a life, took a life. And I echo this because has crime improved, I almost said increased, has crime improved since the death of Senzo Miyua. What have we seen that has changed, especially with regards to gun law? People are still getting a shot even up to today. We even have a former heist, Ntondoni, now representing as a minister. Like, think about it. You move from being allegedly, okay, from being part of a heist to now being what? A minister. Wow. I mean, it can only be in South Africa, okay? If South Africa is a whole movie. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And let me know as well. Let me know as well um, what other videos you would like me to do as we wait for the Senzo Mayua trial to resume. And hopefully, finally, finally, under this new government, we could possibly see justice for Usenzo Meiwa and closure for his family. Okay, Mzansi, please do go ahead and type justice for Usenzo Meiwa in the comment section down below. I will do a separate video reacting to the comments from the other video where um, the video was about the speech by Usenzo Mnunu. But let me know. I'll combine the two. Comment down below. You absolutely know I enjoy reading your comments. I do read all of them. I actually do read all of them. I might not respond to all of them because I'll do it in a video reaction, but I see your comment. And, you know, if you're shy, if you're part of the family, but you don't really like to comment or, you know, give an opinion or take a side, it's okay to also drop in the comment section and say hello, okay? So we can see you because, hello, if you don't leave a comment, I actually don't know that you watched the video. And please, of course, don't forget to like the video. It does give mileage to my video. It is free to like the video. So please support the channel. Drop me a like and I'll be so excited. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. If you're watching from outside the club, oh, just join us. Okay. Join us because you know you already like you already like it here just hit that subscribe button okay we will welcome you okay thank you so much for everything mzanti i'll catch you where on my next upload we've got every reason to be angry about senzo but labo senzo justice is grinding and we will find them as we will find them every day we will never rest up until we find all of them. Siabulela, bantu basem South Africa, masinga sebenzi sani nezi kebengu, masitata izi kebengu sis begenda wini aso, masiyenze um South Africa ibe lilizo eliputu gileyo without crime. We will work tirelessly to ensure ugute ze mitalo seven selwa ukpeni isa ugutlobonga ilapagati kwa bantu getu. Siabulela, zonzundu, siabulela premier.